no chance Flip the man blues Hot off the press The breaking news Only one show And the gospel So come and join us Yeah Come and join Yo, 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 what's up? What's up, everybody? What's going on? This is your boy, Jermaine Mickey, and welcome to the Jermaine Mickey Show. Man, we are here. We about It's about to go all the way down, y'all. I'm telling you, it's about to go down. Man, I can't do the show without my host. Give it up for Miss D. Wilson. Woo! What's going hey, on, hey. D? What's going on? What's hey. going on, D? How, y'all, how you doing, Miss D? Not I'm doing good. all right. I'm doing all right. It's been a good Friday. I'm enjoying myself. It's it's been dope. Yes, indeed. We got a lit show, so we might as well get right to it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, of course, I've been since I came out of high school. I've been on the road with these guys all my life, um, and uh, it's been a pleasure and an honor just to travel the world with these guys. And man, they are my brothers for real, y'all. So. Right here on the Jermaine Mickey Show, we're bringing us back together again. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the extra Randy, Brady White, and myself, 2D Reunion. What's up, y'all? Woo! What's up? What's up? What's, up? What's, What's going, going on, on there, brother? What's up? What's up? What's up, man? So welcome, man. To, the, welcome to the Jermaine Mickey Show, y'all. How's You're everybody? doing big things now. Nice. I see you have... You 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 let the to the extreme thing go, mm-hmm. so you can walk into a bigger season My with your God. own TV uh, show. Woo! No, uh-huh. <laughs> that's you the next you the next Jay Leno. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be. Hey, you know, it's all good. Congratulations man. on your show, man. I just want to tell you, congratulations on your show. That's thank that's good stuff, man. Man, thank you, D. I appreciate Definitely. it. Definitely, I appreciate mm-hmm. it. I appreciate yeah, it. Bro. So, man, I guess to everybody that does not know how we got together, D, man, why don't you update the people how we started this thing, man? Because you good from, from from the original, original, going all the way back. Okay, yeah, go I'm all the way back. First. I'm, I'm gonna go. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way back. He said, go all the way back. So, yeah. what happened was, um, you know, back in the day, you know, I, I I was friends with this guy named Keith Martin, who was like really a really close friend of mine, who's also a close friend of Randy, Johnny, you know, we was all like that little crew that Stacy Ladder saw, you know, that whole DMV crew right there. So one day Randy, uh, Jermaine came to me, I mean, uh, God, not you, Jermaine, God, <laughs> Keith Martin, uh-huh. see the Jermaine Mickey show, you know, is on my mind. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, 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 so Keith Martin said, hey, you know, let's do a band, you know, let's do a band, you know, this and that and the third. And um, for Randy, he's, I, I want to put together a band for, for Randy. And right. he was like, you know, and I was coming in to play drums. I said, okay. He said, I want to keep, like, I keep play bass and this and that and the other. He said, I want to play drums. I said, all right, I play drums. Came there, so we, we all hooked up, whatever. But I ended up not playing drums. I was like, okay, look, you know what? Let me try to, let me do the singing thing. So right. um, we got together. So we were trying to come up with a name of the group. And it hit me in my head one day. It was like, hey, look, these cats are the truth. It was like a new mid condition kind of thing. Like how mid condition mm-hmm. before they came out, like a, mm-hmm. a new earth, wind, and fire kind of thing. So we were like, all right. You know, um, you know, but it's Randy Band. You know what I'm saying? So it's right, you know, it was right, it was right. really to to uh, 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 coalesce around uh, Randy. Um, so okay, while we were so we was trying to do some things and you know we're doing demo tapes, sending it out to uh, 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 Trusty Boots, which was Johnny Gill's um, production mm-hmm. um, company. So now, mind you, everybody there was a, it, it was like a, I guess at this point like a seven piece band, seven right. eight piece band or whatever. So. This band, everybody played in different groups. You know, like the guitar player, the keyboard player, they were in another band. This person played, and he was in another band. This one was in two bands. Mm-hmm. You know, Dawood, keyboard player, he was in another band, whatever. Mm-hmm. And um, so uh, so while we were waiting, saying, so, you know, to kind of figure out what was going to happen, are we going to make this move? You know, uh, uh, you know, 
Johnny gonna, you know, boom, put us out or whatever. You know, we was, we was kind of waiting, you know, trying to figure right. out what we do. Right. I'm not one to wait. So, <laughs> you know, I mean, that's cool. Cause so, yeah. I, so I had this idea. I said, well, since um, everybody's in other bands, I'm gonna go start me another group. So okay. I talked to um, Dau, mm -hmm. who was in nothing but the truth. Right. Mm -hmm. So I said, I got this idea for this group. I got this idea. And he was like, what? Now, mind you, my boys, you know, I mean, like Joe to see whatever, because, you know, me and Devante, and his, all, we were friends we, before they before record deals. We all mm -hmm. knew each other, you know. Mm -hmm. And so it was like and shy. We knew each other before the record deals, you know, um, and whatnot. All it, we all hang out at Night Flight and that kind of. Yeah. Thing. So yeah. uh, with Kevin Jackson, shout out to Kevin Jackson and yeah, Night Flight yeah. Studio and Rick, Rick White. So Rick anyway. White. <laughs> Oh yeah. So me and Dao, we had this conversation. I said, Dao, and Dao, he was like, ah, I don't know. He said, okay. He said, well, you know, you, you, you know, you feeling it like that? I said, yeah, let's do another. I said, let's do another group. We ain't gonna leave nothing but the truth, but let's just do another group because everybody else is in other groups anyway. Let's just, I want to do a, 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 a scale, uh, you know, a smaller group. You know, I'm not trying to do the band thing, just the band thing, you know, because I had ideas. So he was like, all right. So then one day I called him. So then I was talking to my brother. Y'all know crazy Davi with his crazy self. <laughs> yes, so, man. So, so man, we was topping it up. I was like, yo, man, let's, you know, we could, we could do this group, man. But, you know, he was kind of like, he was a little buck out in the streets back then. So, uh, <laughs> right. you know, conservatively, you know, he, I, I'm called looking for him. He will been Barry Farm somewhere, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> instead right. of coming to rehearsal. So right, right. anyway, so, so I came up, I said, okay, so Dao, David, the extra, 2D extreme. Let's make it sense. The three of us. We're going to be D's, like 2D Extreme. That's how I came up with 2D Extreme. Because okay. it was all D's. That was right. his name, the extra, and Davi, my brother. Right. I was like, that's all D's. Right. I said, so, right. okay, we're going we're gonna to do that. So we started writing songs. I started writing songs. You know, um, me and Dawu, we was just kind of rehearsing some stuff. So we was together like 10 months to about a year doing mm -hmm. 2D Extreme, just honing our craft. I was, that, you know, down in this basement and just recording stuff, trying to come up with ideas. We was doing stuff. And so... Then we, so then um, Mark Dorsey was interested. I know Mark Dorsey yeah, at the Mark time. He was, talking about, he was like, yo, I'm interested in it. And I said, like, well, you know what? That might be kind of cool because we'll just go by his last name, Dorsey, so he could still be a D right, right. to the extreme. I was right. like, so that, that'll work. And right. then that would call me one day. He said, nah, man, he got to New York now. He's in New York. You know, mm -hmm. whatever. He's like, oh, man. And I was like, yo, my brother out in the streets, he's doing what he do. I was like, yo, man, and we got these, we got these songs and we got these, I mean, you know, these um, tracks and lyrics right. and stuff like, right, right, right. I was like, man, I just, that voice is just not right, man. I mean, we need, we need, I mean, we just need that, that voice. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yo, let's get Randy. That was like, nah, nah, man, because Randy already running one group, you know, he was like, That's this group. he was like, nah, nah, right, he was like, right. nah, nah, he was like, nah, man. He was like, that was like, nah, man, this is your thing. This is our thing. This is to the extreme. I was like, yo, man, but I got to get Randy in the group, man. I was just like, ah. So he told me, no. he told me no for like three months. Mm -hmm. He told me, he told me no. He was like, nah, nah, man. He said, you know, let nothing but the truth be nothing but the truth and to the extreme, to the extreme, whatever. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't take it no more. I was like, <laughs> I, I need Randy. You know, I was like, so finally one day I just picked up the phone and I called Randy, right? And mm -hmm. I said, yo, man, what do you think about being in another group? Because now, mind you, we was keeping our group kind of mm -hmm. on the low. I mean, a few people knew, like, up at Horizon Studios, you know, mm -hmm. Twins, Sharif, a couple, few, few people, they knew, you know, they knew, you know, who we were, but knew, you know, we was doing things or whatever. But mm -hmm. it was like, I just caught, man, it was like, because it was in my heart, you know, see, and that's, that's why you got to listen to the, the, the voice of God, you yes, know? Sir. Yes, sir. So, I was like, nah. So I called him Rand. I said, yo, Rand, what'd you think? And he didn't hesitate because I thought he was going to say, ah, no, nah, I'm going to pass on that. You know? Right. I said, Rand, what'd right. you think about being in a smaller group? Like a, you know, not no big Earth, Wind and Fire band. You know what I'm saying? Let's, <laughs> you know, and he was like, Randy said, cool, I'm down. He, he's, he's all right, cool, I'm down. Dude. Right, right, right. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> 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 right. Cool, I'm down, dude. So when he said that, when he said that, all that, 10, 11, 12, almost a year worth of trying to figure it out left. Like it right. was it a was relief, right, you know what right. I'm saying? When he said, so immediately, Randy could tell you, I said, hold on. And I clicked over and I called Dawood. Mm -hmm. I said, yo, I said, yo, I got Randy on the phone. He said he's down with the group. 
<laughs> now, now, check this out. Now, 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 mind you, I didn't tell him that I was going to call Randy yeah. Dewey. Because remember, he had already Yeah, yeah no. I got you. I got you. <laughs> he was like, no, no. So so he was like, so that's why he, he was like, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I said, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going you know, to start rehearsal. We're going to start doing this. We're going to do that. And this and that the third. So mm -hmm. Randy was like, all right, cool. All right, you know, let, let's roll. Whatever. So we, we got off the phone. Now, who called me back? And he was like, yo, man, why you do that? He said, it's going to be problems. And I was like, yo, <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm like, <laughs> he said, yo, right? <laughs> he, said, he said, yo, that's my man. Shout out to Daru, man, because we were yeah. like, yo, Daru, that's so yes, boy, man. Yes, cat. But, 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 you know, him and Randy was always clashing. So, because he was a genius, man, and he, did, he didn't know it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was. He was. Oh, he was a beast. A beast. I mean, a super mm -hmm. beast. So I was like, so I, I so I, I was, I was all happy, man. I was like, all right, cool. So I got Randy in the group, and we got Dawu. Now, now here, here we go. Now, now this is what Jermaine. So we started, you know. So we started doing things. We started, you know, as far as like writing, and we wrote a song um, called "Don't Front on Me." Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't front on me. Yeah. You know, we wrote, wrote a song called Don't Front on Me and whatnot. Yes, and sir. so, and it was cool because see, Dawu, he was a genius. And like, yeah. like Randy said, he was a genius. He knew that, he was genius. that yeah. whole thing. He was a genius. But then going back to the Nothing But the Truth band, when we would have rehearsals downstairs at, at Charles' house and we would get together at Randy's house, Jermaine would come. Yeah. And Jermaine yeah. would hang out. Oh, Jermaine would be sitting on the steps. I never gave you sitting on the steps while we were rehearsing. <laughs> this yep. is nothing but the truth. This is not to the extreme. This is nothing but the truth. Mm -hmm. So while we, so, and so I, of course, that, that was my dog right there. You yeah. know what I mean? we talk about everything. We, right, we talk right. about every, we, I mean, we were talking about everything from, I mean, music, music. I mean, from Cortez, from yes, commission, yes, from whining, yes, yes. everything, fashion. Yes. Oh yeah, yes. man. He, Jermaine looking at that. Ah, I see you got the classic Reeboks on. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like, yeah, you know. Right, 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 right. With the with the with the Gap sweatsuit Gap and sweatsuit. all that, man. Right, right. Yeah, you know we, you know we. I mean, you know it was it, it we we just we, we just always been like that, you know. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a, the, the young boy, you know, because Jermaine mm -hmm. was still in school, you know I'm what I'm saying? In school, yeah. So he was, yeah, he was still in high school. So we were like, uh, all right, check this out. So. Rand, he he would be so me and him like we'll roll out with Randy whatever in the in the blue or the blue the blue fiber Trans Am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Trans Am. Yeah, you know, I, yeah. you know when I come out, I park my car and then we, go, yeah. and then we roll out, and me and Jim, like, we hit we you know we we hit downtown or whatever. Yeah. Now, check this out. This is how crazy. I was living then on twelve twenty one Massachusetts Avenue, and go to Randy, and then we come back there to Jermaine going shopping. We go whatever. And yeah. <laughs> but, it, we, but we would sit back. We would sit back in the seat, and me and him, we'd be just singing harmony to everything. Me, Jermaine, we would all be, mm -hmm. and Jermaine, I'd be like, yo. And so, that, that's, so now we segue to, to To The Extreme. So with To The Extreme, we were like, okay. I said, yo, man, check this out. I said, Jermaine, I'm going to get you in the group. So I used to ask <laughs> Rand, I said, Rand, what, what, what you think about, yeah. you know, your cousin? Because it's because uh, 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 Wayne, wanted, you know, he was kind of interested in it at yeah, one right. point. Your cousin, right. y'all cousin Wayne. Right, he right. was interested. Oh. <laughs> so I was asking, so I was saying, so I was like, Randy, I was like, Randy, what'd you think about um let, let, let's let's get Jermaine in the group? No. You know? And uh and Randy was like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He was like, I don't know yet. He was, right. he was like, I don't know yet. And right. so Jermaine was I, a so mama baby, man. Yeah. <laughs> what'd you say? What'd you say <laughs> right, he was right? like, I, I don't know. <laughs> Jermaine was a mama baby. We couldn't get him loose. I don't know. Jermaine wasn't gonna stay on the road. <laughs> right, 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 right. So, so I would say, so, but I would not, I was like, yeah, I said, no way, I got you. I'm gonna get you in the group. Don't worry about it. I got you. I got you. Mm -hmm. I used to say, we be the back seat. Remember, we used to be like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, don't worry. But so, so, but so check this out. So what happened was there was an Adams Morgan's Day thing. We got hooked up. Okay. To do, no, first, let, let me go back before that. Me, Randy, that we, we went to Cleveland and we got some contracts from Mark mm -hmm. Gordy from um, LaVert. But yeah. the, the contracts was basically a, 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 a publishing production. Yeah. It wasn't a recording art. It wasn't a recording artist one. And so we kind of looked at it and we were like, this, <laughs> what? Oh no, we we give it up everything. We do this for the next <laughs> five, 10 years. We was like, no. But I think that Dawu was still interested because he was, even though he was a, he, I mean, he was a good singer, you know, he was cool with whole harmonies and genius, 
I mean, genes mm-hmm. on the keys. Mm-hmm. He still got had a production in his heart as a producer. So what mm-hmm. he did was he was like, so we went there, we hung out, almost got in a fight with a whole bunch of noobs on on his food <laughs> shit. Ooh. Remember that, Randy? Yes, yes. Lord. Me and Randy, me, me and Randy was about to take him, about me and him by himself, uh, about a hundred of them, uh, <laughs> and we ain't care. But anyway, that was another long story. That's but God saved us. That was before we were saved. Yes, Lord. But anyway, um, so so we got so we got the contract. So me and Randy, so I sent the contract to my lawyer, who was a lawyer at BET for one of BET's lawyer, and Randy sent it. To his lawyer, I got him and Johnny had to see that lawyer. lawyer Prince and I called Randy. I said, "Yo, I said, yeah." My lawyer said, "Man, do not hmm. sign this. Well, whatever you do, you throwing your life away. You do this. You give it a, you." And Randy told him, "Yeah, it was a slave." Contract. <laughs> yeah, yeah, was a slave. Yeah, I ain't signed. And so we was like, "No." So we go pass it. So as a group, we said, hey, "You know, let's pass on this." And I said, "Because I believe we got what it takes, you know, to make it as to the extreme." Mm-hmm. Mind you, me, Dawood, and Randy at this point. So mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. we had an Adams Morgan Day. Adams Morgan, that's big in D.C. Adams Morgan's Day is big in D.C. Mm-hmm. So we went to, um, but we had, a, 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 a Paco Lopez had a, a, a show called The Home Jams. So where he would present, that was on a yep. Sunday. And they presented like the local mm-hmm. talent. So we did The Home Jams show, but we did a song called, uh, we did Put Your Head, we, they played Put Your Head on My Shoulders, which we actually did from mm-hmm. nothing but the truth. Mm-hmm. We recorded that song, right, but right. the truth. Put your head on my shoulders, um, and um, we did that, and it was like it got good reception or whatever. But while we were there, Dawood, who was a police officer, a DC police officer, his first year, whatever, he was like, "Yo, look, I got to go do Adams Morgan's Day," and um, so when we got there, they said they asked us to sing some a cappella. Well, you know, our road dog, Randy's cousin, Jermaine, was yeah. there. We was, like, we was like, yo, we said, like, yo, fill in, fill in. And we started busting harmonies. And mm-hmm. Jermaine <laughs> knew all the parts. Yeah, he, he knew, knew the song, everything. Yeah. He knew, he he just fit right in. So I was like, yo, this is, yeah, he said, we sounded real good. Really, really, he's something special. So, so after that, Dao, he called us, he said, yo, man, Man, why was he on the radio? This and that and the other, da, 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 you know, in the third. And I was like, listen, the bottom line, you wasn't there. He was there. He sounded good. And he was like, okay, so I said, so listen, why don't we just make it a four-man group? Mm-hmm. Boom. Mm-hmm. So he was like, oh man, I, 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 okay. So he relented. And I think we did like a couple outside shows with yeah, that group. Did. I kept that, that, that with Michael Bivens. It was the four of us. But when yeah. we was rehearsing, Oh my God! It was mm-hmm. the four mm-hmm. of us was incredible. Yeah, it was four. It was it, I mean, because you know that we knew the the minors and the diminished seven chord, what note to put right there to add mm-hmm. to the. Heart. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. Mm-hmm. So we were like, okay, we got something. We got something. So make it. I'm gonna fast forward and make it real quick. <laughs> so, did. so 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 then um, we said, okay, we to the extreme, the four of us. All right. So then. Um, we was working on some new music and we was waiting for Daru to, uh, you know, cause he was the main track mm-hmm. at that time. He was the one that's doing a lot of tracks cause he had, you know, the equipment and everything. And Randy let him hold his mixing board. Um, uh, Randy had a nice real big mixer that he got mm-hmm. from JG from John. And, um, mm-hmm. and so, so we was like, okay, we're going to do this. You know, you can use this mixing board. We can cut our records, do our whatever, whatever our demos and so forth. Yeah. So while we was doing that, Devante hit me up one day. So, um, and he was like, yo, we're going to be in town, whatever, whatever, come through you know, from Jodeci. So mm-hmm. I was like, all right, cool. You know, so we went to the show. I, so I took Randy and Jermaine. I said, yo, y'all want to go see Jodeci? So I took yeah. Randy and Jermaine with me. And mm-hmm. we, went to, we went to go see the uh, Jodeci show. And um, now mind you, during this period, it was hard to get Dawood on the phone because he was like, he was having doubts. I don't know if I want to do this. Right. He got, you know, he got a new girl shout out, um, you know, to, to yeah. my girl. Um, but anyway, uh, he, you know, he got a new girlfriend who could sing and she was dope too. Mm-hmm. And he wanted, mm-hmm. I think he was his interest. He wanted, so he wanted to do the deal with Mark Gordon, which is cool. And mm-hmm. so that's where his focus, his focus shifted to that, producing yeah. that so kind of hard getting them on the phone so we can you know to to do produce the the three of us to the extreme stuff or the four of us at this point um mm-hmm. 
And um, so anyway, fast forward, we went to the concert. And so, um, so I'm texting Devontae was like, yo, hit me, meet me at the hotel. So um, back then I had talked to Puffy about, you know, doing some stuff with us. Cause I used to see Puffy all the time. Puffy came to my crib way back in the day, all of that. Mm-hmm. Back in, Cause I'm up the street from Howard, you know? So um, I used to live up the street, down the street from Howard. So anyway, we, um, so we went there, boom, went over there, hung out with Devontae. And um, we, we was in his room. He asked us to say something. And because I said, look, this is the group I've been telling you about, you know, because they had the security real tight. It was crazy. It was real crazy. <laughs> like they, I mean, floor was packed. They wasn't letting nobody in, this and that and the other. Security like, we ain't let nobody in. When I knocked on the door, it just so happened. Devontae leaned back, like in his chair at the hotel, and he and saw the crack through the door. He said, oh, that's my nigga, the extra. Come in. Yo, let him in. Let him in. But don't let nobody else in. So that's when I told Randy. I said, yo, just wait right here. I'm going to get him. So I went in. I said, yo, man, that's Johnny Gill's brother and first cousin. Yo, that's my group. Then he said, oh, that's the group you was telling me about? I said, yeah. He said, no, I'm telling them to come in. Boom. And he just started talking to Randy about Johnny. He was like, yo, man. He was like, man, your brother, man, you know, dope, right. blah, 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 and so on. So he said, y'all sing something. So we started, so the three of us started singing one of the Jodeci songs. Uh, <laughs> we, we started singing, and we, and we did uh, uh, Treat Them Like They Want. That one, that uh, Father like MC. Treat Them Like, right. Yeah. Uh, and so we did that. He was like, yo. D, yo, man, he's like, look, from now on, don't y'all sign with nobody else. Y'all would swing mob from now on. This and that and the third, you know. And he said, I'm going to hook y'all up with my people, blah, 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 blah. He said, but y'all got to wait. He said, because I just signed. He said, I just signed the dude you introduced me to, talking about Genuine, which we were mm-hmm. at the Greenbelt Marriott, and he was standing over. He said, yo, you think I can meet him? Because me and Devontae was together. And I told Devontae, yeah, he want to meet you, whatever. And they, boom, they clicked. And next thing you know, he moved in with him in Jersey. And that's, you know, that's a whole nother history. <laughs> but, um. You know, yeah, man, we to make we make history, you know. Yes, sir. And, uh, so Devontae, so after he heard it, he said, Look, I said, We are, I said, we got a fourth member. Remember, <laughs> and y'all remember that? I said, Yeah, we got a fourth member. Mm-hmm. Said, got mm-hmm. And and he said, After he said, I'm sold on the three of y'all. He said, The three of y'all is, is, you know, that's what I'm feeling. He said, Sometimes when people a person don't show up and they're not there on time or whatever, not where they're supposed to be, it's in God's plan. And we was like, so, all right, cool. So that was a good experience. So we left there. It was, we was all hype. We was like, all right, cool. We, that was Swing Mob. And Jordan, at that time, forever, my lady was hot. They, were hot. they mm-hmm. was the hottest group ever right there. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, he was like, yeah, I just signed this group called Sister, which was Missy Elliott and all of that. And we were like, yeah. all right, cool. So we left from there and, um, and we was pumped. So the next day, I, I, in fact, I don't even think I went. I didn't even go home that night. I think I was so excited I stayed over at Randy's house on the sofa somewhere. We was just like, <laughs> we, you know, we was like, we was like, we was all hype. We was like, yeah, no, yeah. man. Yeah, we you know, <laughs> you know, because you know, ready, ready to go, you know, where he was living that day, he ready to go up them steps. He be like, man, you just chill, man. Just chill, man. You ain't gotta go away. Just chill, man. Elroy, <laughs> Elroy, 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 yeah, Elroy, yeah. Yeah, Ray, you was, you know, yeah. it was cool. Bro. Right. Yeah. So he was like, man, so we was like, all right. So cool. So, oh, I know. Then that, more, yeah. So then that next day, I said, okay, man, let's let's hit up Dawu and let him know about this. What we got, you know, Swing Mob, you know, whatever. So me and Randy kept trying to call him. I was calling him from, you know, uh-huh. from my phone. Randy was calling from his phone. Then I came over. That's what happened. I came. Then I came over, Randy, mm-hmm. and I was like, man, I keep trying to call him. And I said, I know what we're gonna do. I said, this is what we're gonna do. So we said, I called this girl that we all knew, this girl named Robin. Yeah. He said, Robin, call, call Dawu and see if he pick up the phone because he ain't picking up the phone. You know, so sure enough, she called and now you, we all on a three way. Mm-hmm. He said, hey, what's up? She said, you sleep? He was like, nah, I'm up just watching TV, blah, 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 blah. We was like, oh, and so we ain't say nothing. We just let her talk. Oh, okay. Just, she said, I'm just calling to check on you. She was like, all right, cool. So we got out the phone and then I, we was like, that's it. Randy said, I'm going to pick up my mixer and we're going to move with the three of us. You know, <laughs> you down. I was like, let's go. We jumped in Randy's car. Boom. Yeah. Hand out. We knocked on the door. Nobody was coming to the door. We were knocking on the door, knocking on the door. Boom. That was up, up in the Northwest, D.C. So found, he came to the door rubbing his eyes. He was like, yo. We was like, yo. So I said, what's up, man? Now, mind you, I'm still advocating for him. Right. <laughs> I'm still fighting for him. I already know where it's going. Right. <laughs> I, I'm still advocating. But, 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 but Rizzo Randy, boy. R.D. <laughs> <laughs> RG ain't having it. Yeah, he, he ain't having it. 
He was like, he was like, yo, 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 I can't pick up the mix, yo. Where, where the mix at? And he was like, oh man, he's like, I, I, I'm, I'm in the middle of doing. So I was, you know, work. Because we, he said, he said, we said, yeah, we trying to call. He said, oh, I was asleep. Now we already knew. We already knew what yeah. was going on. Yeah. We, we, you know. Mm-hmm. Come on. So, Nigga, but, play so, <laughs> but, so we went downstairs. So, so we went down the bed where he had this all studio hooked up everything, and uh. He started unplugging, right? We started grabbing. I said, yo, man. He said, he said, so what's going on? I said, yo, look, man, are you down with 2D Extreme or what? Like, I said, he was like, nah, man, I'm gonna have to pass on that. And I was begging him. I was like, please don't do that, man. I was like, yo, man, please don't do that. Randy was like, yeah, I ain't begging nobody. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was, I was, I was like, yo, 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 give me that. You know, because because he said, yo, can I can I at least hold it until to Monday? This is like Sunday. He said, can I at least hold it till Wednesday or something? Randy said, nope, I need it nope. now. No, he was like, that. can you give me till tomorrow? He said, nope, I'm plugging that stuff, man. Let me get, let me, let me. I got to take it back with the back. Now, mind you, I'm still sold on our, our, our sound. Oh, so, man, I, so he goes over to the ground. I said, yo, that, whoa, don't do this. I was back there, don't do this. I said, look, I started this group with you. 2D, I said, how you going to do What's wrong with you? I said, we going to get a deal. I said, we are. I said, listen, he was like, nah, man, I'm going to just pass on it. I said, all right. He said, so what else going? I said, all right, check this out. As he started unplugging it, at that point, did I, I got the effort attitude. I was like, yeah. hey, <laughs> we were swing. I, said, we, I, 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 said, I was like, we were swing mob now. He said, what? And he said, so you was swing. How you was, I, with Devante? Yeah, we were Devante yesterday. Or something like that. I said, yeah, we were Devante yesterday. <laughs> and we were, we, that was swing mob now. He was like, oh, really? So then he gave a look like, yeah, I'm lying. I was like, nah, we were swing mob. But he knew I knew Devante. So he was like, oh, oh, really? Uh, oh, we said, yeah, and Randy said, okay, cool, man. Have a nice day. We grabbed our stuff. We, like, Come on, we, this the <laughs> we was out. But D, you know he had already he signed out. with Mark. Yo. He had already signed with Mark, too, man. He yeah, yeah, but he didn't him. tell us that. You remember, right. he didn't tell us that. That's right, yeah. So, so right, so so he, he had signed with Mark, and he didn't tell us that. So what he did was, so, so but we didn't know that. So we just thought he was it, you know, he just wanted to produce uh Tanya, you know, his girl. Mm-hmm. So yeah. we thought that, mm-hmm. you know, who's a good friend and she's no vocalist and everything. I love her to death. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah. so we so we went so at that point we was like, okay, we gotta do a demo. We I mean, you know, do our thing. So what we did was so uh Michelle Holder. Yeah. Michelle Holder. Michelle Holder. So yes. yeah, so we went to New York because the guy um Ben, Benny, whatever his name, came down, and she told him, "Hey, look, these guys to the extreme." Because we have, now mind you, by the time we, you know, we were sending our stuff out and the "Don't Front on Me" and other little songs we had mm-hmm. and stuff, and people was like, "Oh, they can sing." We, we, mm-hmm. we always got that. Hank Kyle, I never get Hank Cowell, Anthony Morgan, all these people at CBS. And they was like, they can, "Oh, they can sing, but we don't need another Johnny Gill." That's what they would say. Mm-hmm. Well, we, we we don't need another. So we. Well, we 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 a group, right, we're right, right, right. You know, so we're like, all right, okay, don't worry. We had the faith. So we went to so then, ah, uh, Brina, rest in peace, love her to death. She mm-hmm. rented the car, remember? Because she so we didn't put no mileage mm-hmm. on our car, or whatever. Mm-hmm. She rented the car for us to rent a car to drive to New York. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Remember, and then and then we just gave it a, you know, the the ends, but yeah. she put it on her car. Mm-hmm. Boom. And we went to we went to New York, and um, and 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 auditioned uh, for a label. And we yeah. went there. Uh, um, they were like, "Okay, we'll give y'all a demo deal, but we don't. We're not convinced. But we, we but we maybe we'll get Devonte and I'll be sure to work on y'all record. That's what they say. We will get I'll be sure. And it was Frank. Um, what's the guy? Frank Mattel, the guy that the, the little guy used to be with Michael Jackson. It was his label, mm-hmm. Frank DeLeo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frank, mm-hmm. yeah, Frank DeLeo's label and this other guy who was like a billionaire. And so he was like a billionaire, whatever. So they gave us, they gave us a demo deal and they said, okay, here, they gave a deposit. So I guess the whole demo was supposed to be like, I think it was like 1600 bucks, but they gave us a deposit like 200 bucks or something. Two or 300 bucks. <laughs> so we, we told them, we told them, no, we, we want to produce our own stuff. We, you know, we can have them later on the album but for this demo, so we went back, went over to Kevin. I said, Kevin, Kevin Jackson, I sat him down. I never forget down in his basement. Mm-hmm. And we said, yo, Kevin, 
look, we got this deal thing happening. We want to make this thing happen. And we called them from there. Remember, we called them. Yeah, yeah. You know, hey, look, we're trying to make this thing happen. How much would you trust? And, you know, whatever, whatever. So we came back. We worked out a deal with Kevin to record, to record these like six songs or whatever it was, um, uh, uh, demo. And so now, we when we started working on that, now prior to, now let me go back prior to all of that. Yeah. Prior to that, uh, me and Rick, me and Rick White was messing around. Lil Rick. In the studio. Yes, sir. Lil Rick. Yes, sir. We, we, was, we was messing around in the studio, but we was doing it on the off hours. Because you know Kevin was about his coins. Kevin was like, hey, to Kevin hey, anybody come up he in my studio, yeah. you gonna pay for the job." But Rick worked there. Rick, <laughs> Rick was that little Rick. He worked at the studio. Yeah. So I would meet up there after dark. And, you know, when, when when everything is closed, there all the sessions, all the paid sessions is done. So Rick said, "Rick was like, hey, come through." So I come through, and we was working on this thing, and you know we had the melody and all this thing. We cry no more. That's how cry. This is how cry no more came about. Mm -hmm. So, so I was like, okay. Let me, you know, how are we gonna make this thing work? So of course, Randy was at work. So Randy, you know, <laughs> Randy was Randy was at work, and I was like, "Yo, I gotta get Randy to come in." But it was like, "Well, if that happened, we start recording." You know, that's like a session. You know what I'm saying? You, you, to, <laughs> you know, you gotta pay that. You know, that fifty bucks an hour, twenty bucks an hour, thirty bucks yeah, that's an hour. Add up, Doc. It's yeah, gonna add, add up. up. Like, mm -hmm. Yo, so so I was like, okay. I said, Randy, check this out. I'm working on the song. Yo, you should come through. You should come down, come through, whatever. So, um, so Randy, said, All right, I'll be there. I'll, I'll be there. I, I'm coming through after work. So it was like I don't know, like 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. I don't know what time it was. But it was yeah, I got out by yeah. twelve. Yeah, something like that. Yep, it was late. Um, yeah, uh, Giant Foods or whatever it was. Something yeah, like that. But, warehouse. Uh, yeah, well, yep, yeah. So, so me and Rick, so we was working on it. We was trying to come. So, um, and that, back then I used to have this brief. <laughs> I just had a briefcase. <laughs> so, so I plopped my little briefcase. Cause you know, because I did have a professional job too. Man. Don't get it, don't get it twisted. I, 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 know I was all up in the government. I worked I all in the White House and the EPA and I all that. <laughs> right, right, right. Don't, don't get it twisted. I had a top security. <laughs> you know, so um prime military. Yeah. Right. So anyway, um, so uh um, so I was trying to write, so I was so then. Now, then this is the how, how Cry No More came about. I'm going to tell you, this is, this, this is how it happened. So I was trying to write the verse, but I was trying to hone it in a way where it, it wouldn't seem like it's about a man. You, you, you understand? Mm -hmm. But what happened was when Randy, so Randy got to the studio, I went in the booth and I said, basically, I was locked in that booth, like close the door, and I was going to concentrate. Me and the guy, Tim Carmen, my family, mm -hmm. Tim Carmen, we had a song, a gospel song that I wrote that him and I produced called as um, Unite As One. Mm -hmm. So, and then it was, uh, you know, wipe the tears from your eyes. You don't have to cry no more. So I took a part of that because he was talking about Christ who wiped the tears away. So I took that part of that song that I wrote and it was those lyrics and put it there. And then I build on those lyrics for the hook, just the hook on, just the hook part. Mm -hmm. Wrote the hook, whatever. So when I walked out of that booth, Jeez. I said, Randy, I said, Randy. Randy looked at that paper, Randy did like this. Uh... <laughs> 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 ready look ready look at the paper ready say uh, why don't you go in there and try it first he looked at me he said uh, let's go in there and try it first so 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 so, so I went in there and you're the heart that you had you gave very bad you don't have to cry no more and then Randy was like okay that's cool he said but why don't you curve it at the end right here like that and it worked you know what I'm saying so mm -hmm. that Randy was there when it happened. He was he was there mm -hmm. when 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 arranging that hook part. He was there. Okay. So we did the hook, and so we laid it down. We was like, okay, that's gonna be cool. That's gonna be a cool song. Yeah, that's gonna be you know just do the hook. 
And we said, we got verses up. So then mind you, we left it alone. At that time, I was dealing with different things in my life, you know, relationship wise and whatever, whatever. But, you know, that's life. Um, and I got up at one something in the morning and wrote all those verses in 15 minutes, literally, because of what I was feeling. Wow. And wow. I flipped it because I wanted to be um, to be from a female's perspective. You know, like it could have mm -hmm. easily been from a male's perspective because I was writing from my perspective, but I flipped it because I was like, man, yeah, you fell so deep in love. It was like, it was like a fairy tale. So at that time, because I, I was always trying, using like Shakespearean. That's why I was like, twas like a fairy tale and like mm -hmm. that somehow came true. Mm -hmm. I was using that kind of, you know. And um, so after I wrote it, we didn't record. We did, now everything else took place with the demo. The demo deal going to New York and all of that. But I will always say, yo, Randy, yo, we, we need to record that other song, man. We need to finish that. Randy was like, cool. But he would look at Rick and he was like, well, Rick, <laughs> he would look at Rick and he was like, well, Rick, y'all finished writing and all that. I said, Randy, I got it written already. He, he was like, yeah. <laughs> like, yo, yo. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> Right. So Randy, we should do that song. Randy was like, uh, cool, but um, yo, Rick, go ahead and write it. Go ahead and write it, Rick wouldn't do nothing until uh, Kevin left. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so anyway, so, so check that out. So now, mind you, now we got the demo deal. So now with the demo deal, we well supposed oh, demo deal because wow. it didn't it, it didn't pan out the way it's supposed to. But we got the demo deal. We go and we start recording all this. Uh, I'm thinking about you. Um, Tell me, you want me, show me you can. Right, right. All those songs. Right. So, mm -hmm. we, you know, um, ting, 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 get on the bus, you know, all that. We, you right, know, right, um, right. Um, uh, I know, know you've been seeing somebody else. Somebody else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes, yeah. So, we, we record all of those songs. Nobody's <laughs> hearing my cry for cry no more. So, mm. <laughs> so, so, so Kevin was like, so Kevin is like, uh, so, so, okay, so that's, that's pretty much the budget we all agreed to. We got one more song, so we got to come, he said, D, so you got to come up with another song, man, what you, what you got? I said, uh, well, we got a song, an idea that we already kind of been working on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 But we didn't say at your studio. Yeah, right, yeah. exactly. Not we, on we didn't say. Yeah. He figured that one out <laughs> later on. <laughs> he found out later on. So you know, and so he go. He didn't go holler at Rick because Rick was the man you left in charge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So exactly. so anyway, um, so we so I so I said, yo, we should do we let's let's do let's do this the song cry no more, man. Let's let's do cry no more. So um. So Randy was like, "Oh, uh, okay, y'all feel it? You feel it like that, uh, Rick?" What? So Rick was like, "All right, let's let's do it." So we recorded, we recorded "Cry No More," all right. Um, and um, at first, and I ain't gonna lie, at first I was intimidated because, and I'm gonna tell you why I was intimidated because, mind you, yeah, we sang the hook and did all of that, but nobody heard the uh, verses, and I didn't know how it was gonna come across. You know, because I wrote it and and whatnot, and it was like I said, it was a quick fifteen minute type thing. Months go by, nothing is being done with it, and then say, like, okay, why don't we do cry? Okay, now I gotta grab it and remember, blah 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 blah. At the time, because you know, back then we had cell phones where you record and all yeah, that. No, I mean, yeah. you, you know, we would just kind of remember. So when we got to the studio, Randy was at the studio early, man. I was like, man, I was hoping because I was hoping, you know, how you can get in the studio and kind of work out the kinks. Right, right. And I had a song with Melody. Right. Randy was there on time early, sitting there waiting. I, you know, like, okay, let, let, let's hear the song. You, you, let, 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 get in the booth. Let's go. You know? Right. right so, right. so, so I go in the booth and start laying, like, you fell so deep in love. Just like yeah. a friend. So, and then I'm, so I'm looking out the, you know, you look out the, the window of the, of the, you know, the booth. And Randy was like, he was sitting there, his eyes was closed. Cause I had so much respect for him. That means, you know, when you, you know, you admire somebody for their ability and their voice and all of that, you know, you kind of like mm -hmm. want to gauge how they, you know, how they feel vibing. Mm -hmm. He had his eyes closed he was like that. And he was like, and then, 
boom, that part, my part was done. Came out the booth and ran it. Then he opened his eye. He was like, sound pretty good, man. Good. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> yes. Randy went up in that joint and set it on fire. Now that it's over. Right, right, right. Man, he and so he, was, he, he was like, he was like, I never forget that piece of paper. That, that It was the yellow with the lines in it. The long, mm-hmm. the long uh, right. pad with the lines, the yellow. He took that red, ready with that joint, set up on that thing. All right. And he was like, D, D, uh, <laughs> how, how <are> <laughs> I, I, I got it. <laughs> D, what, 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 what were you saying right there? Okay. All right, I got, I got it. it. I got it. Boom. <laughs> and the, you know, Jermaine, you know, DX was like, come on, man. Come on, man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Like, come, come on, on man. man, you got to go. Hey, look, he, hey, look. <laughs> he blazed it, right? So after we, after, so after we, so we recorded it, later that Jermaine went in there late, you know, of course, uh, late. now mind you, hold on, Whoa. mind you, when we already had that from the demo, Randy and I had did the backgrounds. Right. Jermaine did the backgrounds later when we did it as a single. Right. Because that, that, because, you know, cause yeah, cause I I yeah, I did a, a couple of nose. Jermaine, Randy did a couple of nose, whatever. And we put it, you know, mm-hmm. we did it together, whatever. And we 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 you know we laid it down, and then um when we laid, then we did that um. Right. Jermaine came in and did the that. Bottom though, yeah. That, that, mm-hmm. You know, right? Because I never forget when we after we had recorded the next day when we had a session, and I, and, and I think they was trying to finish it up. Like nah, we kind of done with you know with the whole demo. Jermaine came in and did that. And I, and, and I think they was trying to finish it up. Like, nah, we kind of done with, you know, with the whole demo. I said, yo, I got this idea. I said, I want to, I said, I want to start with a crime. No, 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 no. I said, we got to put that gospel thing in. Right. Like that. You know, we got to put that gospel. And we did, I think we all did that, John, like in one take. One you take, know, like yeah, each yeah, one of yeah. us. We, because we, we did that quick. Yeah. It was like, man, we, we knocked that John out like in one take. Mm-hmm. And, um, and, and so that was that. So, Fast forward. Now here's the here's the irony of things. We did that. All the labels that told us no before. We don't need another Johnny Gill group and whatever, whatever. Okay. And you know, we was feeling better, but we we had perseverance. We pers- you know, that's the thing. When God puts something in you and into your spirit, and you know what you know, regardless of what people say no, or how people react towards you or whatever, you just gotta push forward. So mm-hmm. we recorded this stuff and we sent it back to the people who we did the demo deal. They they had uh well we don't know they would they would stop taking the calls and, and they would take it every now and then you um you know um you block your number and all that kind of stuff you know we was calling back New York and they was like okay the guy is on vacation first he was on vacation then it was like he got no first he got married then he was on vacation and mind you he was a billionaire hey he owned his, his family owned like yacht companies and stuff so and we were like oh my god like what are we gonna do like this is crazy you know. Yep. It was, it was, it was like, and then as blessings would have it, as people say luck would have it, you know, thank God for Miss mm-hmm. Morgan. Yes, sir. Denise Morgan. You know, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And yeah. she, she called Randy because, okay, that was a show on WPGC called What's the 411? Mm-hmm. And it was uh, Michelle Wright's show. And she was, she, and she, it, you know, it was part of her, a segment in her show. And um, Denise Morgan will give the update, like, oh, Mary J. Blash just did this. Oh, uh, whoever, uh, Run DMC got in, got busted for this, or whatever the case may be. It was like a kind of a gossip thing. And so people would call in, they would have questions or whatever. So then somebody called and said, hey, we heard that Johnny Gill have a brother that lives here in the DMV, well, in DC, the DC area. And um, he was like, yes, we're going to answer that question tomorrow. So Randy, um, so Randy called me. Randy said, "Hey, yo, Denise wants us to come up to the Randy said, I got to come up to the radio station." He said, "I want you to come with me. I want you to come, you know, because they asked what's going on with us, so we we be able to tell them, you know, because Randy was like, you like, I ain't trying to do a whole lot of talking, so you know, you you know, <laughs> he was like, you be all that talking." He was like, "So come up to the show." I was like, "Okay, cool." So what I did, so what I did was, as I always did, I went in my trusty briefcase and I grabbed my cassette. I was with you. Remember, we were together. No, uh, yeah, I'm getting to that part. I'm gonna get to that yeah, part. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. So I grabbed, I grabbed my cassette. I grabbed my cassette, and, met, and we met up at Randy's house. And then me, Randy, Jermaine went up to the radio station, 
And then they say, okay, so the question of the day, yesterday's question was, does Johnny G have a blah, blah, blah? And they said, well, guess what? He's here live in the studio, so forth. And Randy, yo, what's up, what's up? He said, okay, y'all introduce yourself. Yeah, I'm the extra wild. I'm Jermaine Miguel. I'm Randy Gill. We're to the extreme. Yeah, but we had our little thing. You know, we was like, they said, y'all sing something. Y'all group, y'all sing something. So we started singing. And them phones start lighting up. <laughs> they was like, what were they saying? What were they saying? Is, is Jonas here? Yeah. Yeah. Is Jonas here? <laughs> there? Is Jonas here? Jonas here? Because we was, Jonas. you know, we were singing that. We were singing, you know, again, one of their songs. Mm -hmm. We didn't, we didn't sing "Cry" no more. We didn't sing, you know, mm -hmm. right? I'll join. And so the phone, you see all, you know, like because the multi lines. So you saw all the multi lines just blinking. They was all going. They was like, they, they calling in for y'all. They calling in, want to know what's up. So um, then Paco, so Paco Lopez which goes back to the mm -hmm. home jam show that Daru didn't come to from Adams Morgan Day. He walked there because it was his shift. Mm -hmm. It was the end of the shift for Michelle Wright. Mm -hmm. So when she walked in, he walked in, we were still on the air and she and she said, Paco, you hear these guys sing? Oh mm -hmm. my God. He said, yeah. He said, wait a minute. I had I had these guys mm -hmm. on my home yeah. show. Right. And he was like, yeah. He said, cool. He was like, yo, you guys, good to see you guys, man. One day, hopefully you guys will do something. Because we was like, yeah, we would swing mob from now. You know, they told us, like, yo, y'all would swing mob. So, you know, we was on that, you know, because like they was a hot, yeah, we would Devante swing. We would swing mob now, blah, blah, blah. Right. And, um, you know, and so um, we, so this, that show was over. Had a nice interview. Um, we started walking out and Randy and Jermaine went up to the front desk with Michelle Holder. And I snuck off and went mm -hmm. to the back, went to the back where Paco was grabbing his stuff for the, for the day, for the air. He was, you know, they, back then they would have cartridges. They're going to run commercials and all that and stuff they're going to play. So I said, hey, can I talk to you for a minute? And we was in that back room. He said, he said I really don't have time. I said, I just want to play something for you, I play some music for you. He said, he said, I don't have time. I got about 10 minutes. I ain't got, but I got like seven minutes or something. I got to be on the air. And he said, no, no, hold up. He said, and he, it was a box. It was an old box sitting on his a cassette box. He said, stick it in there. And while I'm grabbing my stuff, I'll listen to it. I put it in and I hadn't rewinded. It. it was just, it was right there in the middle of Cry No More. Mm -hmm. And he, so he was putting this stuff and he stopped me. He's like, wait a minute, is that you, you guys? And I was like, yeah. He says, oh my God, oh my God. That he, oh my God, rewind that. And he started playing it. He said, oh man. He said, that is beautiful. I stuck my head out the door and I went up there and I yelled all the way up the corridor to Randy Jermaine said, yo, come here, come here. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, I was like, yo, come here, come here. I was like, I was like he was like, yo, I'm gonna get, he's, I'm gonna put this on the radio. He said, I'm, he said get Jay Bober. He went and called Jay Bober, who was the music director, program director mm -hmm. for the station. Mm -hmm. he called him in. Um, I think it's me, it's me, Al I think Al BD was there. There was a couple of people in there. Al they B. all yeah. came in, Michelle Holder. And they was listening to it, and they said he was like, "This is going on the air immediately." And yeah. right then he said, "Don't worry, y'all got a record deal." He said, "We're gonna make this happen. We're gonna make this a big song." Mm -hmm. And everybody, we started we started hugging right then and there, yeah. like yeah. in that, you know. But again, it goes to sometimes you don't have to follow. You can't follow popular opinion. Sometimes mm -hmm. you have to follow the voice of God that's within you. Because I could have mm -hmm. said, oh, "I don't want to bother him," and not be persistent, and we would have walked out of the door. With that mm -hmm. my cassette in my jacket pocket, you know, mm -hmm. my left jacket pocket. And right. that would have just been that. But right. something said, no, be persistent. We did the interview. We did all that. But go follow him. And I went, chased him down, said, can I, please, can I speak to you for a second? And went back in the room. He said, okay, just put it in there. And, and they started playing it. It started becoming number one in that whole area. They started sending out, started becoming number one in their stations in Dallas and Houston and, yep. you know, so forth. And, and you know, um, oh, it was a part I was gonna get to with you. Oh, oh, no, 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 no before that, before yeah. that. So what we needed to do was they, because I had played it from cassette, they can't play it on the air from a cassette. So we needed a deck. So I, we had to mm -hmm. formulate a plan. Oh my so God. So we went back to Randy's house, but Randy had to go pick up, uh, the, was it DeAndre or something? Like you had to go or meet Tony. It was something mm -hmm. you had to go do. And I said, I said, I said, Jermaine, I said, Jermaine, roll with me. Mm -hmm. Jermaine, you remember you got in the car with me? Yeah, yeah. You remember? Yeah. And yeah, we went over yeah. and we went over to Ke we went over to Kevin's house. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and, and so I was trying to figure out, I said, Kevin ain't gonna let that dat go because Kevin and Night Flat had not been paid. From... Yo, that was me and you over there. Cause we talked to Kevin. Nah, right that, that was me and Jermaine. Door. Was it? Cause you're not talking to no, Kevin that was, right that... in the house. No, I think and I was. So that, that was me and Jermaine. No, that was, was me and Jermaine. You had, to, you had to go leave. 
You said, I'll be right. You said, I'll be back. You said, I got, you said, I got to go. You said, man, I will roll with you. You said, but you got it. You said, you all got it. I, mm -hmm. I never forget. Yeah, it, it was me and Jermaine. It was me and Jermaine. I know we were talking to Kevin, yeah. No, that, I know you were I know, talking to Kevin. That was another time. I know what you're talking about. That was another time. To get time. the dad. To get the dad, no, uh-uh. No, uh, that was that was nah, me and not Jermaine. that time. Yeah, that was me and him. That was oh, me and Jermaine. Yeah. That, that, that was me and Jermaine. That, that was me and Jermaine. And um, so what we so so when we got to that, so no, but let me have how I had to trick him to get it. And God forgive me for that for that lie. I had to repeat many times. <laughs> I, 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 I went to him, and what was kind of true because people from the, the record labels were coming in, they were there that meeting, they were they were there for a meeting there. So I went in and when I got to the door, Kevin, I said, Kevin, I just, I said, they only got a DAP machine there and they got a, I, I want them to listen to it. I need them to listen to it. Now, I mean, hey, it's my song, you know what I'm saying? But I get it because he hadn't been paid for his, his mm -hmm. session. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, this is our thing. You know what I'm saying? But I said, Kevin, I said, right now, Capitol Records is right there at the, at the radio station, I, I need the debt to run back over. I said, I said, and I will bring it right back. I said, but if you trust me with this, you're gonna see your name in Billboard. And hey, he said, hey. what? And he handed his hand out, like he was gonna hand it to me. He had a robe on, remember, he had a robe on. He was like, man. And he went and he right. came back. He was like, all right, man, nothing better not happen to this debt. Um, and for those who don't know, that's a digital audio tape. It was like a, a cassette, but it's more of the, more digital one that, right. you know. Right. That. So anyway, and it had, you know, so I so he handed it to me. I reached out for it. He pulled it back and said, yo, he was like, hey, hey, he's like, hey, Shotty, I'm, I'm serious. Don't let nothing happen to that. I said, I'm gonna bring it right back. Trust me. I said, a couple hours tops. I'm gonna bring it right back. Mm -hmm. I just want these people to listen to it. <laughs> so <laughs> took it, me and May burned down the highway. We was, I mean, we was flying. Man, my big, right. well, I, I had my BMW back then. That was, yeah, I, the BMW. I was rolling. Yeah. Got there. Walked in, he took the tape, um, the, the that tape, carted it up. Boom, we said thank you. Boom, he said we're gonna make. He said don't worry, we're gonna make this a hit. We got in our car, we was going down what three ninety five. Three ninety five. We were going down three ninety five, and the radio. I had the radio on, and then they a WPGC exclusive. Boom, 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 and it came up. <laughs> Me and Jermaine started yelling. <laughs> we was in traffic. We was in traffic. I know people going in and out of DC. Look, we pulled up side the road and we started running around the car shouting. Yeah, shouting. We, we, <laughs> we were shouting like shouting. we was in We was like, I was like, we did. We were on the radio. Yep. Like hey, so, Gene, like when they, when they, like when they you, were screaming, <laughs> huh? Before you do this, uh -huh. I got a surprise, man. Paco, okay. where you at, man? I'm right here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Paco! Yeah. Oh! I told you. I'm going to tell, tell you something. I've been on the phone for an hour and 18 minutes. <laughs> Dean Patrick is the only guy on this planet who can make a movie out of a sheet of paper. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'm going to tell you about this sheet of paper. And an hour and a half later, he's telling you about the yellow lines and the long sheet. <laughs> Damn! There I fell asleep 18 times. There he is. That's Paco! Not That's not oh, surprise. my God! That's my Yo, surprise, what a surprise. Yeah. Oh, my God, man. Thank you, man. I just, man, again, for everything you've done for us, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. No, no, let me look, tell you. I'm grateful. Listen, let me, let me tell you, you I've, had, I've had a few conversations with Jermaine in the last couple of weeks because we're working on some projects together, right, Jermaine? Yeah, that's right. And, and, and I'm going to tell you what I told him. I'm going to tell you and Randy both. All I did was open the door. You guys had to walk through it because <laughs> wow. when, I played, when I played freshman <laughs> basketball in high school, our, our coach, Coach White, said to us, I don't want to hear about the other team got the breaks because the breaks is the intersection of preparation and opportunity. You right. guys had the skills to do it. If I gave you the opportunity and you weren't ready, you didn't hustle and you didn't work hard, it never would have happened. Absolutely. You're right, man. Wow, wow, thank you. You well, know we what? We appreciate you opening that door. We appreciate you, man. We, we, I told we, you we, I we had to give you your flowers now, for <laughs> yeah, real. 
I'm going to tell you, you something. <laughs> I told listen, yeah, you got me. You got us on that one, Jermaine. Wow, yeah. what a surprise. <laughs> but let me tell you something. And I know Paco, he probably remembered this. A year, a year and a half before, about a year before, um, we even recorded Cry No More, whatever. When he broke, he broke shot, made it happen for shot. And they did the birthday bash <laughs> um, at the old post office pavilion. I was, I was there, I was standing beside, we didn't have no record deal or anything. I was standing beside Paco and while they was up there performing and you could see the look in his eyes that, wow, look what, his, what he was able to recognize. Exactly. And I looked at Paco and I said, I said, hey, that's going to be me next year up there. Mm. I looked at him, I told him, I tapped him on his shoulder, I was standing right beside him, I said, that's going to be us next year. And he said, he said, you think so? He said, okay. He said, all right, I hear you. He was like, okay, make it happen. Mm. i never forget. And then a year, some change later, the birthday bash again, we was up there performing. Yes. But you know, the, the, yeah. the thing about it is, and, and uh, I was in, uh, in a, in a, on a panel with Jermaine about a week and a half ago in um, Clubhouse. What's that? In Clubhouse. Clubhouse. Yeah, Clubhouse, yeah. And, and I was talking to somebody, and the guy said, just tell me if this sounds familiar. The guy sent me a demo. I said, look, um, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to do whatever I can to help you out. And if, if I can help you out, I will. I'm not going to tell you that I'm going to make you a star. I'm not going to tell you that I can you know, do anything for you, except I'm going to try to do whatever I can. Um, and if I, if I can't do it, I'll tell you, but if I, if I tell you I'm going to do it or die trying. And right. what we did, is we sent out his demo because he's a gospel artist to Jacqueline and cars camp. Oh, and wow. they, like it. they like it. They love it. And wow. It, it, and, and we also sent it out to Donnie McClurkin because I made friends with Donnie McClurkin personally about, about a year ago. Uh, and we did some things on the radio station. I was, I was programming a radio station in Las Vegas for about a year and a half. I'm back mm -hmm. in Orlando now. But, um, but I, I, I established a friendship with Donnie McClurkin, and we sent it to him. And I'm going to tell you right now, I know he's going to like it. And, uh, you know, it's going to be chapter two all over. We're going to do all that. Over again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All over again. Absolutely. And this time, this time, I think we're going to do it with gospel artists. Because I got a few mm. lined up already. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I need to send you some stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Hey, you know, you, know how to reach, you know how to reach me. You know how to reach me. Oh, yeah, me. absolutely. So, absolutely. So that was my yeah, surprise, y'all. That's my surprise, Paco. Man, uh, that was a good one, Jermaine. Yeah, that was, that was a good surprise. one, man. Yeah, yeah. That was a good one, man. That's, <laughs> he was texting me. He yeah, was man. like, yo, D, D, D just going on and on. <laughs> I was like, I'm trying to get well, I was telling him. I was saying, Jermaine, please, can I jump in? Dean is going to go on. That's my dude. Hey, 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 let's, Paco. Let's, go back, let's go back an hour and 25 minutes. The question was, how did you get your record deal? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right, yeah. right. But no, where he asked, how did 2D Extreme get started? So I asked. I was yeah. real kind. I said, yes, "Do did. you want to go back? Go back to the original, original?" Like, yeah. And I said, said yes. yes. I said, so yes. "I said okay." Yeah. Yeah. They want to kill some time. Maybe yeah. I was a seed. No, no, no. I don't no, know. No, no. Hey, I, 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 I love you. Yeah. I love you. I got done the love for you. <laughs> yeah. You know? Likewise. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Likewise. So what? Hey, so what we gonna do, y'all? We gonna play that song that went number one. Uh, cry no more. D, are we ready with that? Yes, sir. All right, here go the video, y'all. Y'all check this out on the Jermaine Mickey TV show, y'all. <clears throat>
That was crying no more, y'all. That's the that's what set it all apart, man. If it wasn't for Paco, uh, man, you know, I know we made the music, but he was the one that made it happen. So, Paco, we, we I know you don't want to hear it all the time, but we thank you for that. We yeah. But if it wasn't for if it wasn't for Two D Extreme, we wouldn't be talking. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. Absolutely. Right. You know, I I, I say yeah. that all the time too. I, I I appreciate my brothers. When I say my brothers, I appreciate the extra. I appreciate Jermaine. They both brought their talent, and we all made it one. Right. You know, as one. And, yeah. You know, it it took everybody's talent to make this one big group to make it happen. And you yeah. know, yeah. And it's something yeah. you treasure all the time. Because when you sit back, right. Anytime you think of two the extreme, you have to vision all three members because all three right. did their thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. I, 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 I will tell you, I will tell you, I've heard a lot of bands 41 years in radio in this mm. business. I've heard a lot of bands. And the moment that I heard you guys harmonize, I said, these guys are going to be big. These guys are going to have them. These yeah. guys are going to be the real deal. And I knew it from the yeah. start. I knew it right from the very start. You know what? I, I had a ball on the road singing with these guys, uh -oh. but it's just a ball on the road just hanging out with them. <laughs> we <enjoyed it. laughs> yeah, we you know, we, yeah, <laughs> Go ahead. we did our thing singing, but it's just hanging out with them. You know, we all came together and hung out, and we had just the fun just hanging out on the road, almost in front, just going out singing. We we love singing and going out doing our thing, but hanging out on the road, mm -hmm. we we never got bored of each other. And we never had that, mm -hmm. that fight out there in the road. Like some of the groups are like, I ain't gonna never happen. This next, you know, that, no. I love these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah likewise. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> Amen. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Hey, so, Absolutely. Hey, so y'all, check this out, man. Y'all didn't know we have a fourth member. Brady 
It's like a four. Yeah, four. Man, <laughs> man, man. I, mean, it's on the I ain't got no voice. Hey y'all, y'all, y'all give it up for Brady White. That was our role manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. He is, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's, it's all family. Brady, what you want to say, man? Just being back, man. Just hey, let me you. tell you, I'm, 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 I'm so pleased to see you all, all of you, man. And um, and I, I hold you dear to me. Pictures are still on my wall. You know, my <laughs> memories. Are, yeah. I, I live with the memories all day, every day. Yeah. You know. Uh -oh, hey, Brady, you got, you got to send us some videos, man. You know, he was always <laughs> filming and, and oh. you know, all them pictures we took and all them videos you was taking, man, you hiding, Bro, you hiding the stash, brother. So, yeah, man, it's a lot, man. You know, with, with Jay Brown and the and the boys, yes, you sir. already know, yeah, yeah man. We got a, we got yeah, a Jay lot. doing his thing, he running all the Jay-Z stuff now, running all the Jay-Z and Is that what he's Rihanna. Doing yeah. Wow. That's yeah. What he's, wow. He's CEO. Wow. He's CEO over there at um, Rock Nation. Yeah. I ain't mad at yeah, him. Yeah, long ways, but we came a long yes, ways, indeed. brother. Nah, long nah, ways. So let's get to the <laughs> so let's get to the food, y'all. Man, we had so much fun on the road. <laughs> the extra, the extra, man. <laughs> Randy. And the extra. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Let me tell you man. something. I'm going to say something real quick. Is that <laughs> I guarantee you, if you go down somewhere and see a picture posted outside, somewhere up on the wall or whatever, the extra probably be in it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say no Let names. Say. Don't say no names. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, D, I'm going to bring D and D. Let me tell you <laughs> how crazy this dude is. <laughs> you can't. We can be walking in the hotel. So you know how you just get to the hotel. <laughs> you cannot walk with him to the hotel room. So you know, we got our bags breaking. Yep. You know how it is. We rolling, we rolling. And then all of a sudden, D would go and knock on somebody's door. <laughs> and take and we running. stuck there looking like and we, we did it. Around. So, so the person opened up the door and you standing there looking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> not only that, not only that, he would take his plane ticket. <laughs> you going on the, you know, you going down the aisle, and he would take his plane ticket and Hard. slap somebody in the Hard. head and point, and then point at the next person, and tell him that he did it. That person right there did it. Now let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something real quick. What D got me one time. D, yeah, we talking about you right here in your front of your face. D goes <laughs> and well, you know them cars that take you to the uh, uh, airline. They get in front of me and act like they ran over the feet. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, ow, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, man, ow. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I was a clown. That's all it was. I was, I was young. I can't believe those foolish, youthful antics. <laughs> you know, I can't Paco, believe that I, I was even in, you know, what was wrong? Is Paco still on here? Is Paco still on here? Paco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You, you oh, know, you have, this embarrassing. You have created this. You know, <laughs> let me tell you, you something. Created this. Let me tell you something. You need tonight before you go to bed to drop to your knees and thank God yeah. that you guys are old and wise. And once you were young and stupid. Hey, Paco, we were on the road a few times, Paco. We got to the point where we wouldn't even walk beside the exit anymore. We'd be walking in front of him or behind him. Or we'll take off running. We'll yeah. we, the Damn, I'm always down, there we for you, brother. <laughs> man, man. Oh my God. Hey, now, I'll, 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 I'll hold you up, D. He man, going another you, story. There you go, Mom. I'm holding you going up, baby. Story. He going there another story. Exactly, we're in, bro. We're huh? in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh-huh. And D, you know, the women just love him. Uh, so they love his boy. room is full of women. <laughs> and we in there, me and Randy just in there chilling with him. You know, we all talking. So all of a sudden, Randy goes, man, let's get out of here. <laughs> so we was like, all right, cool. So D said, hey, where y'all going? We going to get something to eat. He said, man, I got something to eat over here. He said, well, Randy said, well, I got to go get some change. I got change. change. I got change right here. I got change right here. <laughs> you know what? Some any, of the stuff. Y'all not going to leave all the women in my room. Oh, <laughs> some of the stuff. Oh, some of the stuff. Woo. Some of the stuff you all did back in the day, you can't do now. 
And no, was, but because right, if you did that now, it'd be see ya. And what I mean yeah. by that is cap your ass. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's a different, it's, it's a different day, boy. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's a different day, man. I don't got it. I don't got phone calls to my. I don't got phone calls up in my room with the, the message. You know, when you go to the hotel room, the message light like blinking. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's blinking because of rain. <laughs> Some mess it wasn't me. It wasn't me. See, it's, 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 I'm gonna tell you. Paco, you created half of this. This, this boy here. Hey, I'm gonna leave. We're gonna leave that all on the road. Please, yeah. yes. Leave the rest. <laughs> hey, look. And, and, oh, I'm gonna say. say one, I'm gonna I didn't say, say. Notice I didn't say I'm what say it was. One thing. Yeah, right, I'm right, say, right. I'm, I'm gonna say one thing, Paco. The deep came to my room one time outside at this hotel, knocking on my door, talking about, hey, hey, Randy, girls want to meet you and say hi to you. I said, oh, I'm in the shower. Then he goes scream back at me talking about something. I don't hear the water around it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what friends are for. <laughs> oh, my God. Right. Oh, my God. Oh. I said, well, oh, my God. God. And then I had to hey, go look. to the bathroom oh. and turn the water on. Oh, my God. All I'm going to so do funny. is, all I'm going to do is <laughs> try it. Right. Right. Listen, all I'm going to do is take credit for helping you guys. I'm not taking credit for <laughs> Hey, hey, D. Hey, D. Man, so, man, 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 we did. Hey. When there's a world sucking me down, hearing people just don't understand, I go. I think I'm gonna walk up those stairs right there. You know, cause there's little problems down here. That's my doing for a little while. And this old world starts getting me down. And people are just too much for me to face. Up on the road. Up on the road. I climb away to the top of the stairs. And I roll my chest just to rip right into space.
this up, man. No, that wasn't me. No, that wasn't me. But that wasn't me then. I was like, no, we was on the road. We was on the road. That's why I was like, me. I I called back after. Do you know what? I called back after and I said, yo, somebody, I mean, it said I called whatever. And I'm like, I couldn't have called because I'm on the road. Hey, yo. Dude, I was coughing up blood. I was laughing so hard. I was in like, what? We back. We back. <laughs> we back. Me, me, look, me and Brady was laughing so hard, man. I was Nigga. crying. I was crying. Because my blood, thing was, man, that was the funniest. But I'm trying to think of what was that called? We had no singer, but Cry No More then, right? Yeah. Hey, no, uh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, that was way after Cry No More. That was um, that, If I Knew Then. We okay, lied, that, y'all. That, 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 that's the song there, boy. Hey, fellas, that's we lied. Song. Yeah. We lie? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, we... I'm living. I'm living. Yeah. Thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry I had to bring that memory up. That was no, funny. No, I'll try to remember that too. Hey, so <laughs> we back, y'all. We want to say, uh, well, since some shout outs. Hey, D, your sister is in the audience, man. Uh, oh. Your sister is in the audience. Um, oh, my sister? Yes, my baby sister? Is. Yes. Yes, she's in the audience. Um, We got uh, Bo Sampson. MCA, he's in the audience. Yeah, shout, shout out, shout, shout out, out to my sister, my baby sister, Javita. Yes, oh, right, first right. lady. Yes, indeed. Doing the thing. You know what? I'm so I'm so proud of her because you know she was a, she you know she was a little baby when she was a little young and when we was out on tour and doing all you know mm-hmm. doing all the craziness. So mm-hmm. she's uh, you got to forgive me, sis. I I I, I was I'm saved now. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> hey y'all, I want I know Brady want to ask uh, um Bo. Um, Brady want, ask, Brady want to ask something, but before we do that, hey, Donisha, you want to tell the guys your favorite song? <laughs> um, so my favorite song is uh, Let Me Love You. She loves A me. lot of people like that song, yeah. You. Oh, yeah, yeah. girl. I love <laughs> kinda, you know, and the, and the funny thing is, your double dose. The funny thing about that, that question is that, you know, as long as I've known them, and as much as we've done together, I, I don't know what your favorite songs are. Wow. So what is it? What what is Jermaine, Randy? What what is your favorite two Mine? stream song? My favorite song was Let Me Love, not Let Me Live. My favorite song was um, um uh To Love Someone. Wow. To love someone. Okay. Wow. wow. D- what about you? They you know what? I kind of look at it like because the majority was all my babies. So mm. yeah. with, with you know what I'm it's saying? Like, yeah. when you when you when you write from within, but one of the ones that I really like was "I love you too much to let you hurt." That's again. that's what that's I meant. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. That's the that, one. That, that right there, it was. It had a lot, a lot of feeling, and I like seasons, seasons of love too. I like. Yeah, uh, yeah. Seasons was awesome. Yeah, Man, yeah. Seasons was awesome. Dope. Yeah, those those were some good songs. But you know what? If I, really, I, really if liked? I knew then what I know now. Yeah, I, that. Well, that like was that that's mine personal. That's my that's personal. Oh, really? Dashni likes that's that song as well. One. She likes that song as well. So I <laughs> love remember we that did that. Hey, remember we I did like that, that video show, uh, with Janet Jackson. Yeah, was yeah. And yeah. Randy, and Randy we, we got to say we taking the towel. <laughs> we were doing all that. <laughs> <laughs> I never, 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 never. never. <laughs> <laughs> we had some time, oh, man. We had we had some good times, singing, man. It was like good lord. Oh, um, yeah. yeah, it was. I, it was I those were some really good those were some good years man we we had a lot of yeah. a lot of fun I mean meeting everybody it, it was just you know what I think for me one of the strangest things was to go from you know how how fast when the record that we worked for years you know how that goes yeah. but yeah. when the record deal happened like we signed I think it was like that Thursday I mean that yeah we we signed like that Wednesday and then that Friday we was in we LA had to be on the road yeah we had to be on the road yeah and then yeah. we was you know, and all the people that we met, I mean, who would have thought, like, I didn't think about it then, but 
Y'all, y'all remember, I'm sitting on a plane with, with Tupac sitting there, and we, we chopping it up. Yeah. Yeah. You absolutely. know what I'm saying? Flying back to DC, mm-hmm. and we just talking mm-hmm. about everything in life, not knowing that how he's going to be such an icon yeah. later yeah. and gone. You been, mm-hmm. hey, 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 y'all remember that joke with what Pac did when we got to the airport? Yeah. <laughs> and he I called me over. Standing there. Uh-huh. He, he, he said, Yo, come here, come here, come here. We were like, yeah. I was like, What? 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 He said, Yo, come here, come here. We, we we was at the conveyor belt, you know, when you waiting for your uh, yeah, luggage. Yeah. For your luggage. Right, exactly. And DC National. So we had been on the plane. We traveled from LA. We got the elevator. So we all down in the thing. So he was like, so he was calling me. He was like, yo, come here, come here, dude, come here. So I ran off. I was like, what? And I thought it was something. He was looking around. I was I'm like, what's what's wrong with Pop? And so then he, he he leaned into my ear and whispered. He said, yo, I got a fart so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I was like, what god. you tell him? And I pushed him. I was like, nigga, get off of me. <laughs> but we were all, you know, imagine yeah. if we had like filmed all of that and like, you know, that Tupac, was, you know, yeah, doing that. We we had a lot of fun. Like yeah. a lot we, we watched fun, a yeah. lot of cats come up, um, you know, like the Monica's and all mm-hmm. <laughs> Monica yeah. and all, you know, just yeah. the all I mean 112, all these cats, you know, we just watch them come in, you know, we watch them come in. And go out. And one thing yeah. people have to understand is everybody have their season. And just because yeah, yeah. your season, your season may be done in this department, doesn't mean that mm-hmm. God doesn't take you and place you in another department. Exactly. You know, yeah. right. or, or to excel and to use that as your springboard to do other things. And then mm-hmm. sometimes, and then you, you know, hey, you come back and you, and, and you revisit. Like I don't care what. I think to the extreme, we need to do at least one more hour. Or yeah, at least one more two. They yeah, baby. They for me, we, we just do one. You know, we just do it for the fans. Just do yeah. one for the people. You know, we could we could we could do a single or something and you know and just Y'all, put it out there. So yeah, no. sometimes people people don't go out and traveling a lot in, in terms you know uh, of trying to promote and stuff like. But they might just want to download it and say, let me listen to this is a great song that ministers to people with their feelings because that's what we, we call ourselves ministers of love back then. We was trying to minister to the broken. And you know, we be on stage, and you know, guys get mad at some because all the girls be going crazy. <laughs> they tell you something, and we say, "Oh, hold, hold up, we sing these love songs so y'all can stay together with your your significant other forever." You know, but of course, that is <laughs> y'all know. Um, <laughs> yeah, he was like, now, you come right here. <laughs> now y'all know, I, I, I got the lay, I got the label that will put us out real uh, quick, but you know, y'all, you know, you know, we talk. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, y'all, there y'all have it. Yeah. Yeah. Though, y'all. JG asked me too. JG asked me. He was like, "Yo, yeah. what y'all trying to do?" Yep. Yeah. He. Yes, yes, um, yeah, man. Yeah, he said, "What yeah. y'all trying to do?" <laughs> well, there it is, y'all. Hey, can y'all tell a story after? Why I got the bald head? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we were talking about that. 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 <laughs> he was hot with us on that. We just I was told, mad. Yeah, we would tell. I, well, we would tell, man, you would look cool with that, you know. Yeah, he was heated. <laughs> but but that's that was more Randy's pushing though. <laughs> oh, there you go. I think Randy was. <laughs> Jermaine, who Jermaine, tell the truth. That was Randy, like, yo, man, you cut, Jermaine, cut all off, man. At that time, Jermaine, you were the first person in the group to get the layback fade. <laughs> That's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> so we just decided to lay it all the way back. <laughs> yeah, boy. Hey, do y'all remember when Brady did the video with us on with Nas and, and um? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You got, got me going. A lot of pictures Brady, from that. I gotta say, with Brady, with all the low managers that we had, you were the best. You did your oh. job. You were on point. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Thank you. You kept us. You kept us on point. And yes. we still owe you. We still owe you, Joe. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, some of the best times of my life, man. man. The best times yeah. of you my the, life. You the only. I, I, look, I, I that remember that day. Us go to jail. Man, and I ain't laughed so much in all my life ever since. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you talk about talk about the video we did with uh, Gina Thompson, Rodney Jerkins, and all that. You got me going. You got me going. Oh, you got me going. going. Yeah, that was. Um... We did that. What we was we did that. In, did we do that in the Bronx? We did that. Yeah, in, we did. It was in Manhattan. Y'all did it in Manhattan. Manhattan. Yeah. It was Manhattan. Yeah. yeah, we did Manhattan. Yeah, Manhattan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what so, Nas, uh, Nas stopped through too, right? Yep, Nas, Nas Foxy yeah. Brown. Yeah, Fox Omega Brown came through. Yeah, tell yeah. Folks, Omega, yeah. Talk Omega. about it before we show the video. Talk about that. Okay, so basically, the this song we we actually did another song called "You Got Me Going," but uh, we wanted to Rodney do another Jones. remix. We, yeah, we want to do another remix with Rodney. 
um, Jerkins, who later on went on to become the biggest thing. And um, my and I told him, y'all remember, I was in the studio. I said, hey, yeah. you used to get on that Mary project. And I told him, Bilal, that's when Bilal walked. I said, Bilal, hook him up to get on that Mary J, J project. Come to LA and get on it. And he did. He blew up. So yeah. um, we did uh, that song with Rodney. And rest in peace with LaShawn Daniels. LaShawn um, Daniels, yeah. He, yeah, he wrote yeah. on that too. And um, we used a James, uh, James Brown sample in there, that one that cost us 40%, but mm. it was, it was, <laughs> nobody got paid in that job. We ain't get a receipt. Uh, we ain't get a receipt. James <laughs> Brown got all that money, bro. Hey. But, um, Dawson, do we got that queued right. up? <laughs> yeah, but that was a good song. We, we we did that 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 song was a, was a fun because we wanted to have a more of a concert yeah. vibe, and it was cool because mm -hmm. we stayed in New York during that time yeah. rehearsing and dance, the dance. Yeah. Even even though this, the video don't show a lot of us doing a lot of the dances, hey, D, was, D. you know, and the dance was great. We, we held auditions for that. D. And um, in fact, mm -hmm. that's when Paul Hunter was in New York shooting yeah. a Leah video, and he wanted me to be in a Leah's video, but I was like, we doing this, so I couldn't. Hey, do hey, that. hey, hey, wow. D. I ain't uh -huh. got that dance. I ain't got that dance down yet. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna show. We gonna show everybody's in this video. <laughs> I would dance down. Like, oh, oh, man, forget God. this. We, you know, well, we gonna we gonna we gonna get it back on track, and we are gonna go back and learn yeah. all that because Tootie is coming back. <laughs> oh, oh, I said. <laughs> hey, hey, D. Hey, D. Y'all ain't gonna make me dance, are you? I can't get this. <laughs> <laughs> me either. Hey, look, hey, look y'all saw me doing Pride and Joy jump, or, jump around on stage like Jackie Wilson. I can't do that no more, man. <laughs> man. I got, I'm backstage <laughs> breathing. <laughs> hey, hey, look here. I found it, yeah. I found it easy singing with JG. I can stand still and sing. Y'all brother was dancing me all over the stage. Yeah, I'm like, Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> Okay, so I think we're gonna go to let me love you. Let me love you. Let me love you. Cute. Yeah. We're gonna go and let me love you. Um, D. Williams. Yeah. Okay. So we doing let me love you. That's Vanity from um. Uh, remember Vanity Prince protege, her sister. Um. De, uh. Denise's that's sister. Absolutely, D. That's right. That is. Yeah. Absolutely right. That, that's Vanity's sister that that plays my love interest in there, and Ray, uh, let me see, Randy Yo uh, Oya. She, oh, she's doing good things. Yeah. Well, yeah, that, that yeah. Was, that was Jermaine, wasn't it? Oh, well, yeah, Jermaine? Yeah, that's I Jermaine. Know. I had the doctor, Starsky and Schultz, yeah. Jermaine oh, had yeah, 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 yeah. That, that was Jermaine, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, but mm -hmm. yeah, but my love interest was, was um, uh, Vanity's sister. No, no, yeah. your love was, was all of them. You were squirting them all down. <laughs> them all let's go to Eric. Right, let's go no, to Eric. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Play no, fair. No. Play, play fair. fair. No, no, no. Play fair. fair. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to that video, Dashi. <laughs> he said, play fair. Play fair. Oh, yeah, baby. You know, the extra can't stop loving you. So many times we make love all night long. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But now you ain't saying nothing. Tell you what, Jermaine, Randy, and myself, we're gonna take it to the extreme. Yo, fellas, let's sing it for you. Check it out, girl.
Thanks, good luck, right? <laughs> well, I got plenty for you, girl. Uh, you trying to get ejected, huh? Well, here's a double toast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Start right there, right there. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, girl. So, um, Dosney never, are we live? <laughs> okay. So, Dosney never seen the video, y'all. So, please forgive us. She thinking we out here on uh, on uh, OnlyFans or something like that. Nah, we good. <laughs> hey, 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 Yo. hey, Doc, you, you got a new outlook now on DX, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Like, I was sitting here looking like, Oh, I can show this. <laughs> like, sis got all her clothes wet. They tearing shirt. List, y'all not. But that's okay. the thing about it. See, Dick, the was the only one that had a six pack, and he know me and Jermaine had. A, I had a keg. <laughs> <laughs> so we had to sit on the side and drink without keg and deal with oh. it with his six pack. Oh man! <laughs> I was like, hold on, wait, 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 stop the tape. Hold on. <laughs> No, they gonna tell us. Good. They gonna tell us. Tell Jermaine. I mean, tell Jeff to take off his shirt and told us to stand on the side. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, hold on, man. hold on. <laughs> Randy used to be the one that we go. We be on stage and Randy grab my shirt and lift it up so the girls go crazy. <laughs> I tell, that's just. I was trying to tell him. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have this one day. <laughs> oh my god, man, man! Hey, yo. So oh, man, we having a good time. The 2D reunion, y'all on Jermaine. <laughs> Uh, we, got, we got my brother. Yeah, you wasn't ready. Bro. I you wasn't ready. Well, well, I tell I you, if, if 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 you had been around on Hollywood Boulevard with all the oh, oh, they would have been oh, ready. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Uh -uh, uh -uh. <laughs> no, you don't be around. Back in the day, you did not want to be around. Back in the day. <laughs> man, we lead the man, fifth. Oh my God, yo! I, it, oh, yeah. a, Doc, let me tell you. Look at the extra face and look at Jermaine's face. There were the two big devils out there on the road. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. no. I, I was, listen, I was living right. I was doing okay. But that Randy Gill, <laughs> <laughs> he, he came into my life and corrupted me. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me, let me tell you how the devil used to be so strong. We, we'd be traveling. We'd go from city to city. And sometimes... You could see it all in Randy's face. He was tired, he was tired and all that stuff. And so yeah, we got to this radio station. We had to do, you know, you got to do it early in the morning. Sometimes radio station, you travel from city to city. You already there. So I look back at Randy and Randy looks so angry and mad. And so he was like, man, like, I don't, like, like I'm hungry. I'm tired. I'm ready to go to sleep. I've been traveling all night. In city. And, he, and I looked at him. I just looked at him. I said, Randy, I was, I was like, Ray, Ray. so, so man, the guy was getting ready to get out the, the truck or something. I mean, the, the, the limo driver, whatever it was. And, and Randy was oh. like, man, if you don't do this, man, I'm, I'm going to knock somebody out. Randy was like, hey. and I was, like, I was like, I just looked at him. He ain't saying that. I just looked at him. I said, oh, let the devil use let you. Let the devil use you. <laughs> <laughs> so you're already, you're, you're already tired. You're, you're hungry. You're tired. You're hungry. <laughs> you let the devil use you. But let me tell you, D, D would be the one letting the devil use it because we were, we were the only one in the limousine knowing we didn't have no seatbelt. And he going to bang on the outside of the yeah. car while the limo driver drives him and make him think he done hit something. <laughs> 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 did, I, did I hit somebody? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. no. Hey, what no, about, hey, what about that guy? The guy lost our dad tape while we was over in, uh, oh. in, in Amsterdam. We was in oh. Netherlands or somewhere. Remember? Yes. I said, look, whatever you do, do oh. not lose our debt. Get it right yeah. after the show. 
He gonna lose he it. Lost. Oh God, it was. It was we well. should. That's why we got Brady yeah. White. That's why we got. I ain't never lose that. Hey. Uh, oh yeah, hey look, let me tell so you. I remember, the first, I remember the first day I talked to Brady. Said Brady, my Brady coming on the road with us and doing it. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was uh, yeah, yeah. who was so, it? Was it me? You not in? Huh? It was uh, me. Was it Filthy? It was one of us. Yeah, he was like, "Yo, why we got Brady?" I was like, "Yo, why come?" Who was it? it was filthy. Yeah, it was filthy. It was filthy. I was like, "Yo, why don't you come out on the road with us?" Yeah, I was like, "Yo, you come out on the road with us." I said, like, "The fellas <laughs> going, you know, you already family anyway with the fellas. Let's go." Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, so look, I'm a. I'm gonna touch on some special moments we had. The first time we did Soul Train, uh, yeah. uh Cornelius was on his way out. Uh, that was his yep. last show. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that had to be yeah. a special moment for us. Then, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I sent you a hall show too. Yes, um, mm -hmm. when we did uh, when we did the uh, Soul Train. Um, it, it was it was so real because see one thing about being a new artist, everything is so surreal. Like you're trying to grasp the moment. And yeah. then when you actually see yourself there and actually interacting with all the people and how they treat you, oh, this is your green room, this is that, and you got to hit out and, you know, it was yeah. so surreal. But one of the things that we all, and I, I think I speak for all of us when we were young, something we mm -hmm. always wanted to do was to be on Soul Track. Yes. Like, yeah. you know, one day we said, and we was able to get in with that last group of people. The leg of it, yeah. yeah. The last, that, the last that, that, that last little group that, that we were like one of his final interviews to have the actual mm -hmm. Don Canese, yes, you know. Yes. And um, yeah. and then we went on to be on that a few times after that with other people, mm -hmm. rest in peace, you know, to Michelle yeah. Thomas yeah. and, Did, and what, what about what, what about the time we came on stage and we had the band? And uh, we thought we was gonna have a band on stage and Don strike it. it. He said, "Strike it." <laughs> <laughs> uh, he said, uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, "Strike it." We had the whole band. We had we we, had, we say, "Look, this is the new look. This is our new setup." You know, we had the thing and go. We had Pat. We had Tim. Layla had. We had every. You know, we had we we had the, we had. The, you know, he was like, "Strike it." I told Marilyn Bachelor, yeah, no, and like, we gotta, you, you know, we gotta do something <laughs> else. But I want to say, man, it's it's been such a pleasure um, traveling the world yeah. with with you guys, man. Randy, man, you 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 have been such an inspiration, man, on so many levels, man. Yeah. With 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 your perfectionist and um, Jermaine, you already know, man. You you know, we yeah, we sure. we chop it up, man. Brady, you know, you family, bro. You know, yeah. you know how we you know we we we, we was tag teaming. You know how how, how we gonna round them up, bro. <laughs> you know. No, I ain't talking about. I'm talking about getting everything in order. I'm talking about getting everything in order. Yeah, See, yeah, that's yeah, what y'all yeah. minds went somewhere mm -hmm. else. <laughs> all over there. Yeah, you see your mind over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we, we talking about. See, this is Sigma talk. This is Blue Fire talk. This is Sigma talk. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah, you know yeah, what? Yeah. And we keep it real right here because at the end of the day, though, it's like there wouldn't be a Randy Gill uh, out here for anybody to hear if there was not for these guys here because. All together, we are one. Yes, yes. you know, you know right. what you're saying, and and we we all help create each other because right. without them guys, I, I wouldn't have the image that I have as Randy Gill and right. Jermaine Mickey right. and Dax Wiley and Mr. Brady White. That whole thing that that's it made it fun. It makes us want to keep doing this because right. it's like right. we became a, a real family out there. Right, you know, and right. We support each other through everything, and I can right. tell the guys that I'm speaking from the heart and say out of love that I love you guys. Yeah. Love you more, man, bro. I'm there anytime. Yes, sir. Yeah, love yeah. you more, man. Yeah, love you more, man. Yeah. For real. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Truth, be, so here, truth, be, here's the truth be told, man. Truth be told, mm. uh -oh. we're on the mm. road, all over the place, singing, laughing, mm. enjoying ourselves, camaraderie, mm. excellent. And when we get off the road and got to go back to LA, man, they used to piss me off. <laughs> <I know. Yeah. laughs> no, no, no. Hold up. That reminds me. Let because I we showing brotherly love and we hugging each other all that, oh, but I got one little thing I've been holding in for a long, 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 long. <laughs> this is thing for a long, long time. Uh oh, we 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 working on our albums. I'm trying to write these songs, produce these songs, uh -oh. whatever. And so when I need somebody to come to the studio, <laughs> I get on the phone, and be like, uh -oh. Hey, Randy, I need to come through the studio. Randy be like, Oh man, I'm back. <laughs> yeah. Man, you was just here last night. <laughs> I had to fly back, yo. I had to fly back. Hey, look, look, these two boys, they will fly back to yeah. DC back and forth at the drop. But look at look at the boy. Look, hey, you know look what? behind him. But look behind him. He lived in the studio then and he living in there now. Look behind him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I'll be like, oh, right. but you know what? But but you know what? He said, but 
I, but I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be back, you know, yeah. and he'll fly back in. All right, what you need me to say? <sighs> Boom. He take that paper. All right, I got it. And late. We had a chemistry. Killed. We have the chemistry to where it's like DNA. Yeah. That's what we, I like we about. did. We have we had a chemistry. And see, DNA, yeah. yep. DNA, they never questioned how I did my thing. It's like that they would be no. up two, three o'clock in the morning doing the rehearsal and doing their thing and working it oh out. And then let me come in and just sit down and listen for a second and go do my thing. And D be like, yep. I, even when I mess up the first thing, D, well, I don't know, I think I like that. <laughs> <laughs> right, I know. <laughs> yeah, that Randy in the Randy be like, oh, boy. yeah, sir. Oh, the runs he had. He be like, oh, yeah, yeah I, I think I want to, I want to, he said, well, let, let me do another one. And I, I whisper yeah. to the engineer, I be like, yeah. keep that, keep that. Go, we, go, we get another one, keep that one. Then he, he, go, he like, killed that one. Yeah. Remember we did that with Layla Hathaway. Remember we had yeah. Layla come in oh. when, she did, when she did the record with us? And she yeah. just kept wanting yeah. to redo everything. We was like, no, she get out of the yeah. Yeah. yeah, we was like, yeah. no, you too much of a perfectionist, Layla. <laughs> get out, you sound good. Yeah. Yeah, Cause you hear you know. D in the back, like, you sure you want to redo that, man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, man. look, I, I remember one time, you know, cause you know, I try to pride myself on knowing what I'm talking about a lot of times. Yeah. And I'll never forget one time we were in uh, Shreveport. So mm -hmm. I was like, man, I don't know how this crowd is going to be. We got to hit oh, yeah. get out, get out. <laughs> and Randy said, no, we need to do the yummy. And then, you know, I was already feeling bad because I was like, <laughs> yummy, man. I was kind of, you know, because this what the song is talking about. I was like, I don't know, but it's a banger. My brother produced, my brother produced the yeah. beat with yeah. you know, yeah. it was my brother Ray. So we were like, and um, I was like, okay, let's, all right. I said, nah, man. I said, nah, Ray, let's let's hit them. And then if they want more, we make them come back for more. We do it again. Randy was like, nah, we should, we should just do it. We should just do it. So I was like, ah, <laughs> all right, cool. Whatever. <laughs> I was like, whatever, man. All right, whatever. We went out there, we sung the song, we did a song. You know, I wanted to leave him on crowd no more, leave him high, you know, with the song that, that's hot and all of that. Randy told, uh, so the guy went, so the, the song went into, your body is so, man, them people was jumping out the balconies. Wow. We couldn't believe, we were like, and then they bum rushed the stage. We was like, oh my God, that was crazy. That was <laughs> almost as worse as that one we, that show we did with what, Tony Braxton. We yeah. were like 60,000 yeah. oh, people yeah. outside Juneteenth, Juneteenth yeah. in uh yeah. in mm. Dallas. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah it was, that it was, was crazy. But that was one thing I was like, bro, and right there on the stage, I said, bro, you was right. But you know what? I, said, you, <laughs> Let me I was like, you called that one, you called that one right. Yeah. You called that I'm gonna one take a minute. Right. Yeah. That's why I'm gonna take a minute out just to say uh thank the fans out there because without them, there would be no two to the extreme and they, they kept us yeah. in sure. jet, and what in jet and all that for like over 50 some weeks. <laughs> And they kept us on the road constantly, and they supported us no matter what song we did and all that. So I, we we had a ball on the road, but we had it because of the fans that gave us their true heart and soul and, and love and came right. out to see us. Because they had a fit when we left uh, Shreveport. They said we inside a ride. No, yeah. we came there and gave them a show. That's what they asked for, yeah. and they enjoyed it. And and we don't regret a thing. Yeah. Right. So we appreciate the yeah. fans for all that they they've done for us. We're always grateful, even though we've had a fun time doing this yeah we had even more fun just meeting these fans and understanding why some of the songs that we sung made an impact in their lives in their lives That's right now. and we appreciate it That's yeah right. we do baby. It was and, and, and and d mm -hmm. oh and d you're a hell of a writer boy yeah. you write your ass off yes. oh <laughs> man thanks bro thanks man yes, thanks bro yes, i so appreciate our, that man so we thanks. know we man i hate to do this man we gotta wrap it up though but uh man yeah we had a good shout time. out to both samson Bo. for sure hey, so real DC, quick, D, DMV. D, you got a lot of stuff going on. Let's go around the room, find out what everybody's doing. Separately. Oh man, I got uh, you know what? I'm I'm a um I'm working on uh, a BB King project, stage play, the movie, um, Marvin Gaye. Um, we're doing a, a concert that's gonna okay. it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be incredible. Okay. I'm working on that. Cool. Working on sliding Family Stone. Um, I'm developing a couple of other projects of my own personal for television. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. you know, series, um, right. and, um, and, 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 you know, here and there producing, doing some music here and there, not really, not as much music, uh, <laughs> only, you know, if, if it's right, if the money's right. And, um, and I'm, trust me, I know it's been forever, but my family Wiley project is going to come out. Yeah. It's gonna, we're going to do that. Yeah. I can't yeah. wait yeah. on that. I can't wait. You know, Maybe and, then, yeah, the, and then the two extreme singles that we're going to knock out, <laughs> That's gonna be, yeah, we you know. Back, I, in fact, I already wrote like four songs, you know, for that. You know, I just gotta uh -oh. get it right. So, all right, yeah. we coming, y'all. Yeah. 
Yeah. Now, oh yeah. Brady, Brady White, what you got going on, man? Man, I'm uh, I'm actually um working really hard getting my daughter going, man. She's got a little oh, voice yeah. there, you know. I That's saw her. Yeah. Yeah, I saw yeah so I'm I'm uh, I'm looking forward to getting her moving. And um, and besides that, man, I'm 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 heavy in the real estate right now. Heavy. Oh, That's where the money is. Yeah. 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 Yo, cuz, what you got? Well, you know, I'm, I'm doing also, you know, I'm, I'm actually doing some stuff even on JG's label as well, but also yeah, I want okay. to the extreme to, uh, you know, be to come out on uh, whether it's JG's label or whatever label we got so that we can at least give the people what they've been asking for because they've been patient with us. They've been, uh, you know, asking and loving us. You know, I just like, I just want to, let's go for it one more time. Let's just do it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Mm. Yeah, well, I didn't even mention Pride okay. and Joy. We're going to be coming back out. The Marvin Gaye. Yeah. That was a great yeah. yo. Uh, Marvin, dude, shout was... out to Marvin. Marvin Gaye the third. He's been my right. business partner, friend for like sixteen years. Right. So okay, yes. been that, doing that. that was an awesome, awesome man. That was awesome. Oh, it was. Thank you. Yeah, that was real Thank good, man. So proud of you yeah. on that, man. And Thanks, uh, bro. Man, yeah. we, man, I love y'all, man. We got to do. I love this you too, man. man. Um, oh, and, my uh, peace. Love you, boy. We had a, a right great now. Time. So y'all yeah. heard this. Two D is coming back, y'all. We coming back, y'all, with a single. So uh, we about to wrap it up, man. Want to send some shout outs to everybody that's joined us in the chat room. Uh, uh, my sister, want to send a shout out to her. D, she's get, she just got engaged. Uh, Congratulations, Congratulations. Girl. Yeah, hey. yeah, Tanya's getting married. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout, out shout out to Jay, shout out to me. Yeah, so shout out to her. I think D went out, did D? Yeah, Ebony and all of them. Yeah, yeah Ebony's in the um, audience, my sister Tamika. Uh, my cousin Shell is in the audience. Everybody, what up, Shell? Yeah, Shell. Yeah, yeah, so yeah Andre, Shell, my kids. Yeah, everybody yeah, DeAndre, is, what's up, man? Yeah, <laughs> hey, DeAndre is big on TikTok now, so man, y'all gotta yeah. check DeAndre out, man. He's dope. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up, man. Like, man, I remember, remember Randy used to yell out that door. Hey, hey, Rocky, where my Rocky? Rocky, come over here. <laughs> 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 yeah, these days, you know, we about that three, boy. four years old. He's like, come with me. Oh, like, yeah. He was a nice, <laughs> that's my that's dog. beautiful kid. Yeah. Beautiful soul. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful soul. Man, y'all can always <laughs> catch us every other Friday, man. Uh, D. Wilson, thank you so much. Uh, the best. Thank you, D. Definitely. Uh, so, uh, man, we, we love D, you. D, keep so letting me love you on repeat. <laughs> hey, D. Uh, go back and watch no. it one more time, D. Let's see if you can If I watch it, I'm gonna watch it in the privacy of my home because we're not broadcasting it. Nowhere else. Like that? That's uh, right. Was, that's that's why, why that's why 2D ready. Extreme make these. Hey, look, that's why 2D Extreme make these songs and videos for you. <laughs> no. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was not ready. Hey. Y'all could have watched well, somebody. That song is more effective in the uh, in the summertime with the water hose. Yes, indeed. <laughs> so, um, so on Monday, Monday we got uh, Monday we got a uh, Keith Wonderboy Johnson coming on. Uh, oh wow! We got, wow. A, date, we got a date. Big. We got a dating show called Link Up, and uh, Keith is gonna be on the show, man. He's looking for love, man. So we gonna have a All right. okay. Talk about I'm proud of you, show. Jermaine. Man, Jermaine, yeah, quiet, Mickey, do your thing. <laughs> Jermaine, hey, Jermaine. quiet, Jermaine. With Jermaine. Hey, Jermaine. You inspired me, boy. You inspired uh, me. I'm gonna do a little dating show too. It's gonna be called uh for, for Mitch, it's gonna be called just a need a little time. So man, that man, these dudes crazy. We can talk all night, man. So man, uh, hey, y'all, yeah. we love y'all so much. Uh for join, sure. us, join us on Monday uh for the Keep Wonder Boy show, of course. And uh subscribe yeah. to the channel, uh Jermaine Mickey TV on Facebook, Jermaine Mickey TV on YouTube. Uh, and uh, we about to do this thing, man. We we um two D's back. We coming two D extreme. Y'all get ready. Yes, for sir. It. And uh, we about to make it happen. So, fellas, That's I love y'all. Love me too. Man, we gotta get all right, brother. Hey, Number love, all man. right. Y'all take care. The, we going all to right. the jingle piece. All right, my <laughs> babe. Yes, sir. All right, beast. Go, mob. <laughs> Later, brother. Be <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks, fellas. I appreciate all right. it. All right. Slow jazz, rhythm and blues, hot off the press, the 
breaking news on the one show and the gospel. So come and join us, yeah. Come and enjoy yourself.